Welcome back everybody. I wasn't planning on doing this review. However, a bunch of you guys have requested this and right now we have our assistant walking into the camera right here. Oh, come on, buddy. He said, oh, I'm gonna be on the main channel. Oh, it's impressive. This is Mr. Colt. Wanted to be on camera apparently as he walks over here. But a lot of you guys were asking what I think of the whole bench maze situation. I posted a couple memes about it simply because I think memes are funny and uh, <laughs> the situation is funny in some ways and in other ways it's not. So a lot of you guys have been blowing me up to do a video about it. So we'll talk about it. Um, for those that are unaware, the Oregon City Police posted a photo um, basically thanking the folks at Benchmade for helping them destroy guns. Um, hold on. I think he's trying to jump on me. He is. All right, he's trying to get up. So anyway, <laughs> this is, it's like live video. Uh, so anyway, so they're helping to destroy guns. And um, from what I've seen looking around, it looks like they're about a mile and a half, two miles apart in terms of the Benchmade factory and the Oregon City Police Department. So from a location standpoint, uh, that seems to sort of make sense that that would happen. Um, and then uh, following that post, of course, there was a whole bunch of uproar. <laughs> of course, there was a whole bunch of uproar. And um, the Oregon City Police put out a statement. Uh, I'll put it up here on the screen so you guys can actually read it, saying that Essentially, um, all they were doing was trying to help the police with the task that they had, which was to destroy these firearms. Uh, and um, they were saying that they're tasked with destroying firearms because sometimes people bring firearms in them, to them to destroy, which doesn't make a lot of sense to me. However, uh, people who are um, anti-gun, you know, if they inherit guns or something like that, that may be something they do. Um, and then also destroying guns that were used uh, in cr crimes, right? So, and that, that are no longer needed. So number one, uh, I think those policies are terrible po political policies. However, um, sorry, the camera's moving. That's Mr. Colt again. Uh, I think they're terrible political policies. Uh, I would much rather see these guns go back into circulation because even if they were used in a crime, the guns aren't at fault for anything, right? That'd be like uh, if you got in a car accident, you got rear-ended, let's say, and um, then after that, you brought your gun into the police department to have them cut the engine block up, right? That makes no sense. Like the guns are just guns, just like your car is just a car. Um, they have no ability to think, reason, etc. And honestly, it'd be a pro to the taxpayers as well to have them get back out there in circulation. You could probably make some revenue off it, sell them to your local FFL at, you know, really good prices because whatever those prices that they're paying for it are going to be way better than the nothing that you're getting for it. Having, the, having to cut them up. And especially when you think about man hours used, you're paying money to cut them up. Now, another thing I thought about was like the Oregon City Police, right? It's not a super small place. It's so, you're telling me they don't have an angle grinder. They don't have a way to breach uh, doors should they need to do so in, well, I really don't think police almost ever have a need to breach doors, but let's pretend they did. Uh, you're telling me they don't have any breaching equipment. They don't have the ability to cut the receiver of a Remington 870 uh, in-house. I kind of doubt that. Um, so that's kind of my take on the whole situation there. I think, uh, obviously I wish Benchmade would never do that. I, I don't support it. I don't support the police department doing it, but those are kind of, uh, political issues that seemingly the police department has no uh, purview over. Now, of course, Benchmade absolutely has the ability to say yay or nay to that. And then they put out a statement saying something like they support police and gun owners or something like that, which is, is nothing, right? It doesn't mean anything. So, um, their statements are kind of not not what you'd want to hear, I guess you could say, from a PR department if you are a pro-gun person. So uh, there is that. And then after that, uh, a website called Open Secrets um, came out. Well, it's been out, but I guess some light was shed on it uh, through that site that basically Benchmade has been donating since as far back as I looked, which I think was 2010, 100% of their money to Democrats. Now they are in Oregon, um, and Oregon is mostly a Democrat state from what I hear. Uh, so a lot of folks would say, oh, well, that makes sense um, that they're donating to, you know, anti-gunners because it's the price of doing business, especially if you're competing for DOD contracts. I kind of get that um, because, unfortunately, you know, we do live in a country that has some corruption going on with money and politics. That's a very real thing. And if you're a company, a big company like Benchmade, uh, I can see how that could kind of come into play. And uh, that was yesterday that, that that info came out, at least as far as I was consuming it. So today, 
Uh, my inbox has been blown up with people asking about Surefire. So I went over to the website myself and uh, looked at it, just like I encourage all of you guys to do. From what I saw, Surefire was donating in 2012 and 2014, I believe. I'll put it up here on the screen if not. And 70% of their donations went to Republicans and 30% went to Democrats. Now, to some of you, that means nothing. To some of you, it means something. I think it's probably a little bit different, though, than Benchmade because, in theory, anyway, a lot of us expect um, Republicans to be pro-gun and not wanting to strip us of our rights to defend themselves. Uh, that's a video for another day, I suppose, that I'll probably never do because I'm not a political channel. Um, but when you donate 100% to Democrats, it really raises some red flags. And then you think like, oh, well, maybe they're trying to change their mind and get them to see the light on the pro Second Amendment stuff. But then if you look at the actual people that they donated to, I think like of the top five, four of them are like complete gun grabbers, like putting forth legislation to take our guns away. So they're not exactly ones that are probably open to convincing. So it uh, definitely doesn't look good on Benchmade. Again, if they're donating, you know, 50-50 or even better, something like what Surefire is doing with the 70-30, that'd probably be good. Um, or rather, it would probably be understandable. I guess is a better way to say it, not good. It would be understandable. Um, however, it doesn't look good for them. Uh, I reached out to them. I know several other people with channels have reached out to them that saying that they could come on and, and talk. Uh, that offer still stands, uh, but I haven't heard anything back yet. So that's kind of it. That's my take on the situation. Again, I really didn't want to do a video on this, but you guys were blowing me up for it. So there it is. Not good on Benchmade. Um, and I should point out, I have at least 10 Benchmade knives, all of them I bought. Um, never, never a problem. They've been a good product. I've always been happy with them. But unfortunately, I think uh, myself and a lot of other folks are probably going to put our money elsewhere unless uh, something changes in terms of the situation because um, you know there's a lot of other companies out there who make good knives uh, at similar price points or even less less than Benchmade in a lot of ways so um, they got a big problem on their hands for sure unless they do something about it pretty quick they're going to lose a significant uh, market share because um, I really think a lot of people are reacting to the images of the guns being cut but I think financially they're going to react more so to their political uh, leanings and their political contributions. That's probably going to kill them more than anything. So, all right, enough rambling for me. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. Stay tuned for the next video.